this time um, I will share with you guys um, how to choose an architectural style okay I believe that um, choosing um, the right architecture style can be tricky um, in the same way that choosing a house design can be totally daunting right um, these are some recommendations that I will provide to you guys on how to choose an architectural style um, first uh, we need as well to check about the problem frame uh, we need to describe the characteristics of the recurring problems um, without being disrupted by references to details of domain um, domain knowledge or programming solution implementation so basically uh, uh, we need to make sure that we have a detailed um, description of its own characteristics uh, make sure also that each characteristic is not redundant or recurrent from, from the other characteristics and also it will not um, interfere um, the other um, the other domains or the other components okay we also have domain um, driven so if we will talk about domain driven it's uh, it actually designed uh, reflect the domain logic of the business problem okay take note of those recommendations because basically um, in real world problems um, often follow more than one problem frame okay and as a consequent uh, as as a uh, as a consequences an architectural model may be a combination of different frames for example here uh, we have um, model um, view controller or what we call the MVC architecture used in web app design might be viewed as combining two problem frames so we have the command behavior and we also have the information display so in MVC or in a model view controller the end users command it's sent from the um, from the browser window to a command processor which is the controller which manages um, access to the content or to the model and instructs the information rendering model which is the view to translate it to uh, to translate it for display or for viewing by the um, browser software like um, Google Chrome Firefox and other um, browsers available online okay and by the way um, the domain driven design is often the best supported by a layered architectural stack that's the last um, that's the last um, architectural style I explained in the previous um, video okay so here's something to remember when defining a software architecture um, most applications um, fit within a specific domain or genre so if we will um, talk about domain or genre let's say uh, in education um, domain education um, gaming domain I know that you're quite used to gaming domain uh, we also have military we also have business and that one or more architectural styles may be appropriate for that genre okay so as an advice or just to give you a suggestion in order to determine the appropriate architectural style for your project uh, we can diversify by looking at the other applications in the same domain and assess the architectural styles employed I want you to do this one okay I know that it's hard to look for a or to create or to um, use a an, an architectural design on your level um, because this should be um, um, this should be explained in the deployment part or in the deployment phase in the software development but it's good that uh, we also um, discuss it here in the designing phase okay so again uh, we can diversify by looking at the other applications in the same domain for example if you're in the um, gaming domain or if you're um, 
system that you're um, that you're trying to create right now it's in the education domain uh, I want you to look for the other um, same applications that uses the same domain and assess the architectural styles employed okay here we go um, there is also a case of architectural patterns as utilized in architectural styles so basically in the presentation right now I will um, what do you call this um, differentiate what is the architectural design I'm oh, sorry architectural pattern to art architectural style okay um, if we will talk about the architectural pattern one moment if we will talk about the architectural pattern um, it is a way of solving a recurring architectural problem okay the architectural style there is no um, there um, um, it doesn't exist to solve a problem okay take note it doesn't exist to solve a specific problem only the pot uh, only the architectural pattern will be the one who will solve this specific problem so if we will talk about the architectural pattern uh, we have just like what I said earlier I use the MVC or the model um, view controller um, for instance it actually solves the problem of separating the UI from the model okay we also have sensor controller um, a crater um, this is basically a pattern that will help you with the problem of mm, uh, problem of a creating in face of several input senses okay we also have rest when you say rest um, it's actually a representational state transfer it is a software architectural uh, it's a software architectural style that defines a set of constraints to be used for creating web services basically this is what we are using for the web services okay we also have the architectural style so if I will go into details um, it's actually um, it's um, it's just a name given to a recurrent architectural design okay so this is the architectural design okay so contrary to a pattern it doesn't exist to solve a problem okay um, just like in pipe and filter it doesn't solve any specific problem it is actually just a way of organizing your code okay the client server or the main program or the subroutine and abstract data types or the object oriented are also the same Okay, those are the architectural style okay also a single architecture can contain several architectural styles and each architectural style can make use of several architectural patterns okay hopefully um, I um, gave justice in differentiating in the architectural style and also the architectural pattern okay